Hi there, I'm Dad, and this is Dad TV. So today on Dad TV, we're going to be baking something called the water pie. That's right, a pie where the main ingredient's water. But you can't bake a pie where the main ingredient's just water. Oh, but you can, my friends. So water pie, also known as depression pie, was a dessert that they baked back during the Great Depression on account of there were so very few ingredients that it was required to make it. We were challenged by our good friend and fellow YouTuber Xander Dobson to bake our water pie. Okay, the pie is done. And in keeping with tradition, we're going to throw the challenge out there to a few other YouTube channels. All right, so first, Sophie and Freya of the Fun With Dad YouTube channel, formerly Cooking With Dad, you two have officially been challenged to make yourselves a water pie. Second, we're gonna challenge Aurora from the YouTube channel, That Johnson Life. Aurora, your dad says that he likes to do food challenges, so here we go, water pie challenge sent out to you guys. And finally, Diggy from the YouTube channel, Weird Funny Short. Now I know that your YouTube channel has a specific niche to it, but if you can somehow incorporate the water pie into one of your episodes, you have been officially challenged. All right, so strap on your aprons and let's see if your culinary skills can surpass that of Dad and Avery. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so first thing, first ingredient for water pie, water. Avery? We're gonna do one and a half cups of water straight into our pie crust. Second ingredient is we have four tablespoons of flour, as well as one cup of sugar. We're gonna mix those together. Get in there and mix that up, Missy. Mix, mix, mix. Oh, good job. Okay, once we have our flour and sugar mixture done, not quite done yet. We're gonna sprinkle it over top of the water. We're not gonna we're not gonna mix anything in, we're just gonna sprinkle it over top. <laughs> okay, next we have two teaspoons of vanilla extract. We're gonna drizzle that over top of our mixture here. Again, no mixing involved. You just put everything in, let it sit. And then finally, we've got four tablespoons of butter. We're just gonna place those in here. Oops. Yeah, a little splash. Okay, and that's it. We have the oven preheated to 400 degrees. We are going to bake this for half an hour at that temperature. And then we're going to reduce the temperature to 375 degrees, cook it for another half an hour. Uh, we'll monitor our crust. If our crust starts to get too brown, like it's going to burn, we'll cover it up with foil to prevent that. Then we'll have some water pie. Let's get this into the oven. See you in half an hour. Okay, the first half an hour is up. We're gonna pull our pie out. We'll see what it looks like. Reduce the heat to 375 degrees. Cook for another 30 minutes. Let's look at our pie. Our pie crust is starting to brown quite a bit. I'm gonna cover it up and we'll put it back in for another 30 minutes. Yeah. 
Not the prettiest job, but let's stick her back in for another half an hour. Okay, our final half an hour is done. Pie looks amazing. It smells like when you first walk into like a carnival ground or the fairgrounds and you get that sweet cotton candy smell. That's what it smells like. So I think it's gonna be pretty good. Let's see what our pie looks like. Okay. There we go. Now, I'm not gonna lie, that looks really good. So the recipe I read says that it's supposed to be bubbling when you pull it out, look golden brown. That's probably the best looking pie I've ever baked. And it also is supposed to be a little bit jiggly. But it's gonna solidify up in the fridge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this cool down on a rack here. And when it's cool enough, we're gonna put it into the fridge. And we're supposed to leave it for about four to five hours before we can cut into it. Now, I have to leave for work here in about an hour. So we're not gonna be able to cut into this till tomorrow. So we will see you guys tomorrow when we cut into this pie. Okay, our water pie sat overnight in the fridge. Everything looks like it's set very well. And moment of truth, let's cut up a few slices and see what it tastes like. You wanna try some water pie? Let's cut into our water pie. Slices of water pie. So it's almost like a custard, almost like a custard type filling. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty surprised that uh, being water based, it's solidified up like that. Moment of truth, though. Let's taste it and see what it tastes like. Okay, here we go. really good. Kind of has that um, pecan pie flavor to it. I love pecan pie. It's pretty sweet. It was a pretty good pie. I would serve this as a dessert after a dinner at my house. You put a little whipped cream on it, maybe some fruit. Hmm. Well, there you go. Water pie was very good. I highly recommend the water pie. Easy, super easy, inexpensive, and it tastes good. Okay, so everybody that I challenged, their YouTube channel will be linked in the description below, as well as I'm gonna link Xander Dobson's water pie video in the description below. So please go check out their channels, and if you're new here and you haven't yet, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button and then go and check out some other videos we've done. We do a lot of fun stuff here on Dad TV. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.